Good morning, everyone. I am Mangalam Raj. With my fellow mates, are going to present on the topic acid rain and smog. We are going to cover definition, causes, effects, and solution. By our presentation, students will learn how acid rain is an air pollution problem that travels with the wind from west to east. To achieve significant environmental and public health benefits, improve to access to clean and safe water. to promote material management waste management and clean sites moving on to acid rain acid rain refers to any type of rainfall that has high acidic content it occurs in the form of, form of ice fog and small pieces of dry matter that are there on earth normal rain is slightly acidic with a ph of 5.6 while acidic rain usually have ph between 4.2 and 4.4 Now I will move on to the causes of acid rain. These can be divided into three broad categories: natural, fossil fuels, and industrial. Decaying vegetation and volcanic eruptions release certain chemicals that can cause acid rain. Acid rain is also a product of human activity. The main sources are coal-fired power plants, factories, and cars. When people burn fossil fuels, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are released into the atmosphere. These pollutants react with water, oxygen, and other substances to form sulfuric and nitric acid in the air. Winds can propagate these acidic elements in the atmosphere and for hundreds of miles. When the acid rain reaches the earth, it flows into the flowing water, enters the water systems, and sinks to the ground. Sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are not the main greenhouse gases that cause global warming. One of the major effects of climatic change, in fact, sulfur dioxide. has a cooling effect on the air but nitrogen oxide contribute to the formation of low levels of ozone a major source of pollution that can be harmful to humans but both gases cause environmental and health concerns because they can be easily spread through air pollution and acid rain acid rain has many natural effects especially in lakes streams wetlands and other areas of water acid rain makes such water more acidic resulting in more absorption of aluminum in the soil which is carried to lakes and streams that mixture makes water poisonous to crayfish clam and fish and other aquatic animals sub species are more tolerant of acidic water than others however in the intergenerator system which affects other species of animals eventually affects the vast majority of food chain including known aquatic species such as birds acid rain and fog also damage forests especially those in highlands acid deposits deplete soil essential nutrients such as calcium and cause aluminum to be absorbed from the soil making it difficult for trees to absorb water the leaves of trees and needles are also damaged by acids the effect of acid rain along with other environmental hazards leave trees and plants unhealthy exposed to extreme cold pests and diseases pollutants may prevent trees from reproducing some soils are better at blocking acids than others but in areas where the restriction capacity of land is low such as parts of us northeast the harmful effects of acid rain are extremely high acid rain tests there are two types of tests to determine whether the rain is acidic or not first ph litmus test after the rain has stopped you could dip some litmus paper in the glass of rain and by comparing the color change in the paper to a corresponding chart it would tell you the ph of the rain second acid base indicators use a ph meter pure water is neutral and therefore has a ph of 7 unpolluted rain has a ph around 6 to 5.5 it is slightly acidic because some carbon dioxide is always dissolved on it solutions the only way to combat acid rain is to stop the pollution this means burning less fossil fuels and setting air quality standards the problems of acid rain will continue as long as gasoline is used 
and countries like China and India, which relies heavily on coal to produce electricity and iron, suffers the consequences. Another study found that acid rain in China may have contributed to the deadly landslide in 2009. China uses regulation of sulfur dioxide emissions, which have dropped 75% since 2007, but India has hovered. Diagnosis and Treatment Diagnosis Driving cars and trucks also produce large amounts of nitrogen oxides. Treatment Do carpooling use cycle or take a walk sometimes? Diagnosis Thermal power plants produce large amount of CO2 and CO. Treatment Turn off lights, computers, televisions, video games and other electrical equipment when you are not using them. Conclusion Acid rain is a very important issue that has bad effects in the environment. There would be many health problems that could be avoided if acid rain became a little less of a problem. We can help to stop this acid rain by a very simple way which is not polluting the air. As they said, prevention is better than cure. Let's move on to smog. We are going to cover definition, causes, effects and solution. Our objectives are to improve understanding of indoor air pollution identification of potentially harmful species in indoor air, explain the effect of smog, knowledge transfer towards policy maker and other stakeholders with an interest in indoor air quality. Smog is air pollution that reduces visibility. The word smog is used to describe smoke and fog. The smoke usually comes from burning of fossil fuels and other smoke producing pollutants. Smog is common in industrial areas and remain a familiar sight in cities. Today, most of the smog we see is photoelectric smog, which is produced when sunlight reacts with nitrogen oxide and at least one organic compound in the atmosphere. Now I move on to the causes of smog. Using coal as a fuel, vehicular and industrial emissions, overpopulation and excessive consumption. Excessive waste production, fireworks are some of the causes of smog. These can be divided into three broad categories. Factories, smoke from chimneys consisting of carbon monoxide, sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides are emitted from factory. Vehicles which contribute up to 50% in cities as they release gases directly in the lower atmosphere. Stubble burning. In states like Punjab and Haryana, stubble burning is one of the major contributors to smog. Ozone can be beneficial or harmful. The ozone layer high in the atmosphere protects us from harmful UV rays. But when the ozone layer is near the Earth's surface, it is dangerous to human health. Ozone can damage lung tissues and is especially dangerous for people with respiratory ailments such as asthma. Ozone can also cause itching and hot eyes. Smog is unhealthy for humans and animals and it can kill plants. Smog is also bad. It makes the sky brown or grey. Smog is common in big cities with many industries and traffic. Cities lined with mountainous terrain may suffer from smog problems as city gets stuck in the valley and cannot be blown away by the wind. Solutions Change in Habits Drive slowly, take a walk, bike, carpool and use public transportation whenever possible. Take care of cars, getting regular repairs, changing oil on time and in fronting tires can improve mileage and reduce pollution. Avoid products that emit high level of works, for example use low work pants. Avoid outdoor gas appliances, use electricity appliances initiated. Conclusion Delhi is supposed to be the most polluted city on earth. Smogs cause lung diseases and increase the death rate. According to one estimate, air pollution causes the death of about 10,500 people in Delhi every year. The earth is changing for the worse and it's the fault of the human race. Now it's a race against time to try to purify our planet before it is destroyed. Thank you.